Good afternoon and thank you for joining us today for the celebration of the 257th anniversary of the Canadian Grenadier Guards. My name is Captain Corey Anhorn, the Regimental Adjutant of the Active Battalion, and I will be today's Master of Ceremonies. While, normally, we'll be celebrating the Regimental birthday together in person, this year's challenges have provided us with the opportunity to host an event that will see a mixture of virtual and physical attendees from both here at Canadian Forces Base Farnham, as well as from across the globe. You can follow along, comment, and engage with each other on our virtual feed throughout. With that being said, and without further ado, I would like to introduce our Regimental Honorary Colonel, Honorary Colonel J. Paul de Bitaillon, to say a few words and to introduce one of the pre-recorded Well Wishes videos we received this year. Sir? fellow Grenadiers and, uh, and friends of the regiment. We've uh, been through a very, very difficult period of our uh, military career this year, but with the dedication and service of the individuals, we have done very well, and we hope to continue to do so in the future. I would like to have the opportunity to introduce our allied regiment's lef uh, uh, regimental lieutenant colonel, um, Lieutenant General Roley Walker, who will then proceed to give a uh, greetings from our Allied Regiment, the Grenadier Guards of Great Britain. Hello and happy birthday. I'm Roley Walker, Regimental Lieutenant Colonel for the Grenadier Guards, and I'm delighted to be able to extend our warmest wishes to you as you mark your regiment's birthday. Our alliance was formalised in 1930 by Her Majesty the Queen's grandfather, and in her we share a Colonel-in-Chief, as well as a famous name and many emblems. Emblems which are an outward expression of a much more fundamental alliance of military values and standards. Our way is to hold ourselves to the highest possible standards in all that we do, from the precision and confidence on parade to the skill and mastery of the light infantry role in battle, because these are two sides of the same coin, best characterised to me by the values of discipline, exactness, loyalty, trust and respect. And there is a deep fierceness in us to guard what is right, to fight for what is just, to protect the people and to maintain order. Indeed, it is our way of supporting the ideal of liberal democracy as the best, or at least the least bad, system for peace, security and order. And like that system, which is in constant evolution to meet the needs and demands of its times, our respective regiments are also in constant adaptation to meet the expectations of those in whose name we operate, namely our political leaders and the military high command. But it's also the expectations of those whom our regiments draw in to serve their country, namely us, Grenadiers, because these are our regiments and their futures will be as much a consequence of the past glories performed by our predecessors as they will be by the contributions we make in the present. And others look to us for a lead, like it or not. Others judge their regiments by us as well. Ours is therefore a demanding and unrelenting creed, but one which does get the best of us. I remember as the commanding officer of the 1st Battalion nearly 10 years ago on the eve of shipping out to Afghanistan, explaining to the Guardsmen that now was the time to stand tall and let their actions speak for themselves and to leave it to others to judge whether they had acted honourably and whether they had made a contribution to our regiment's rich history. I believe to this day that they went above and beyond my expectations. Indeed, a small example 
probably insignificant, but important to me at the time, was the extent to which the attached arms went to acquire and wear the Grenadier Guards, Grenadier Guards Battle Group T-shirt, uh, which we had made up for that particular tour and wore under our combat smocks. And when within weeks of returning from that combat mission, we prepared to troop our colour on the Queen's Birthday Parade, I once again asked the Guardsmen to stand tall, explaining that this was their homecoming parade. This was down their high street. And while 8 million people would be tuning in to watch the parade on television, their Colonel-in-Chief and her family would be going to horse guards that day to honour them for what they had done in the service of their country, for NATO and for the people of Afghanistan. And they did stand tall and they did perform above and beyond expectations again. And all of that, to me, epitomises what it means to be household troops, a proximity to the head of state and, by extension, to the heart and fabric of our nations. Ordinary people doing extraordinary things on behalf of others. And so while you celebrate your regiment's birthday today and its long and rich heritage and its elevated position, within the Canadian Army. I hope you also get a moment to celebrate your part in your regiment's story. So once again, on behalf of the British Grenadiers, happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Next, we have a message sent to us from our Honorary Lieutenant Colonel, Honorary Lieutenant Colonel Ginger Petty, sending us her well wishes for our 257th. As your Honorary Lieutenant Colonel, I am so proud to honor each one of you as this is your story, your celebration of 257 years of honor, dedication, and success of those who have preceded us and of those who we serve with today. Since 1764, <laughs> the Canadian Grenadier Guards have worked, fought, and died for our freedom so that we too may celebrate this meaningful birthday in 2021. This is a success story. For 257 years, you have readily served your country. You have surmounted the greatest of obstacles. You have seen courage under fire and dedicated yourselves to the cause of freedom with honor, integrity, and respect. You have adjusted to ongoing change and distinguished yourselves with loyalty, duty, and service to the people of Canada and throughout the world. God bless you all, and I wish you a very happy two. 157th successful birthday and I wish you my sincere best wishes to all of you and to your families. Well done. Congratulations. Bye. Of course, our family tree does not exist only within the confines of the home station. We're proud to have a number of regimental family organizations under the umbrella of the Canadian Grenadier Guards. One such organization, the Canadian Grenadier Guards Association, is currently being helmed by Mr. Jim Cunningham, who sent us these well wishes. Hello, Grenadiers. I am Jim Cunningham, president of the CGG Association. Happy regimental birthday. So what are some of the reasons you could celebrate the birth of our regiment? Well, you could celebrate the regiment because we develop exceptional soldiers and citizens. We teach ourselves to embrace and practice our shared values, values that are becoming a rare thing in this world. We form grenadiers who prove their worth through action and results, both in military service and in civilian life. You could celebrate the regiment because we answer the call to serve. 
We enjoy a reputation second to none, earned for us by our forebears, who excelled often under the direst of circumstances. We have continued to answer the call in places like Bosnia and Afghanistan, and more recently in Latvia, Ukraine, Iraq, and in domestic operations, assisting with floods and the pandemic. You could celebrate the regiment because Grenadiers are a gift that keeps on giving. Grenadiers forged under the colors consistently move on to serve as responsible citizens, wise parents, and leaders in industry, government, charitable organizations, and bodies like the clergy, the UN, and NGO relief organizations. Lastly, you could celebrate the growing strength of our Grenadier community. The association is recreating a sense of connection and camaraderie among Grenadiers. We have re-established a consistent flow of regimental news read by Grenadiers across Canada and around the world. Despite COVID, the association has organized a range of enjoyable activities at which many Grenadiers had a great time. And over the last 24 months, the association has grown its reach from 125 to over 800 Grenadier contacts. More is in store for 2021. In a few weeks, we will launch CGD.ca, our powerful website that will support online registration, news, event information, and electronic payment for items we will sell online. And in May, we will, we will be launching the most massive membership drive in association history. We are quickly rebuilding a community of Grenadiers who are engaged and whose talents and resources will benefit the regimental family and the association's community service activities. So happy birthday, Grenadiers. That's a lot to celebrate, and I'm sure you can add other reasons to this list. Have a great birthday, and I hope next year we will all be able to celebrate together in the same location. Cheers. As well, the past few years has seen a strong resurgence from the Canadian Grenadier Guards Guards Club. The president of the Guards Club, former Lieutenant Colonel Commanding Mark McPherson, also sent us a video for our 257th anniversary. Good day, everyone, and happy 257th birthday to our regiment, the Canadian Grenadier Guards the oldest and first regiment in Canada. I am Mark McPherson. I was Lieutenant Colonel Commanding between 1965 and 1968, and the Honorary Lieutenant Colonel from 1980 to 1985, and now the current President of the Guards Club. My first term in this job was in the late 1960s. Many things have changed since then. This past year has been a challenging one for the regimental family, particularly for the active battalion. All of us have soldiered on in guards fashion with some success in spite of the pandemic that is cramping our style. The Guards Club has continued to work in the background on behalf of the regiment during the past 12 months. We have conferred with the Lieutenant Colonel to identify how best the club can support the officer's mess. This resulted in our first project, to refurbish the 34 100-year-old wooden armchairs in the officer's mess. This project is presently in the approval process required by the Foundation, so I expect we'll have more to say about it later. This is just the beginning, as we have identified several other areas needing attention in the near future. The Lagarde Club is committed to building its membership of former officers and other members of the community who are interested in the regiment, its history and traditions. We are keeping all of our members informed about the regiment through the medium of our newsletter, On Guard, and our Facebook page. The club is looking forward to having a face-to-face -face event as soon as the situation allows. As we come out of the pandemic, the club is standing ready to assist with all of its resources so the regiment can continue to deliver excellence. Again, happy birthday to the Canadian Grenadier Guards. The active battalion has, of course, been busy over the past year as well. From deployments on expeditionary operations to supporting op laser, the Canadian Armed Forces deployment to long-term care facilities across Canada, our members have been proudly serving the regiments. A number of them are currently in the field undergoing training, 
And we're now going to take this opportunity to see what they've been up to. Hi, my name is Dario DeMeo, and I'm a private in the Canadian Grenadier Guards, and I just wanted to wish the Canadian Grenadier Guards a happy birthday. Hello, my name is Guardsman McGregor. I'm part of One Koi Two Section, and I've been with the Canadian Grenadier Guards since 2019. We're currently training Winter Warfare, uh, so Polar Guardsman X3, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I would also like to wish the Canadian Grenadier Guards and the family members of the Canadian Grenadier Guards a happy birthday and good fortunes. Bonjour, je suis le Caporal Engen. Je travaille dans le CQ de la première compagnie au Canadian Grenadier Guards. J'aimerais souhaiter un joyeux anniversaire au Canadian Grenadier Guards of the Guards. Good afternoon. My name is Master Corporal Lama Ghazawi. I've been part of the Canadian Grenadier Guards since 2008. The unit has offered me many, many different opportunities to gain different experiences, such as my deployment in Latvia on op reassurance in my position as a PSYOPs analyst in the strategic communication cell. I want to wish my CGG family a very happy birthday, and I'm honored to be part of this family. Bonjour, je m'appelle le Sergent Lé. Je suis le commandant de la section 2 du peloton 1, la première compagnie. Ça fait 10 ans que j'appartiens au Canadian Grenadier Guards. J'ai participé au Hop Laser, à la guerre cérémonie et plusieurs entraînements aux États-Unis. Et j'aimerais souhaiter un joyeux anniversaire à l'unité. Bonjour, je suis Major Vincent Gagnon, commandant de la compagnie 2 Prince of Wales Company. J'ai joint le CGG en 2001. J'ai été à Ceremonial Guard pendant plusieurs années. J'ai occupé la position à Hop Distinction de maître de cérémonie et j'ai aussi été présent au CIOR à la Ville de Québec. Joyeux anniversaire aux Canadian Grenadier Guards! Next, I would like to introduce the Regimental Sergeant Major, Master Warrant Officer Andrew Albert, to say a few words. Sergeant Major. Thank you, sir. Fellow Grenadiers, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for joining us today on the regimental birthday. This year has, as many have already stated, a challenge. We continue moving forward, trying new and innovative ways to keep our soldiers active and engaged. We will continue to do this in the years coming and hoping that as the COVID pandemic passes, we can return to standard life as we knew it before in some form. Hoping that we will be able to get together with the wider regimental family in the near future. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Thank you, Sergeant Major. I would now like to introduce the Lieutenant Colonel Commanding, Lieutenant Colonel Joe Nunez, to speak on behalf of the regiment. Sir? My fellow Grenadiers, thank you for taking the time today to share this special moment as our, on our regimental birthday. Normally, I'd be giving this speech in, dressed in mess kit with a glass of port in my hand. But like many of the celebrations, such as birthdays, weddings, and special events that we've all had to put aside, I would not let another regimental birthday be left to the side. Those who have served the regiment understand the difficulty in finding the balance between your family life, your school and civilian jobs, and serving as a reservist. This past year, as many have said, has been even more challenging for each and every one of us. I am proud of all of you, our serving members, who have, despite many of the restrictions, have maintained a presence and attendance during all the training. I'm most proud of the leadership for those of you who have come out constantly and managed the challenges through an ever-changing plan. Many of you took double tasks 
accounting for those who were not present, you have clearly demonstrated the values of guardsmanship. You have stood tall, you took on the challenge, and tried to strive excellence. All the credit of our success this year goes to you. And for that, thank you for your leadership. As all Grenadiers today celebrate our birthday, I want you to think about, for those who served then and still serving today, what made you stand out above all others? What makes you excel when others falter? It comes to the core of what makes us different, and I hope you've listened to what the Regimental Lieutenant Colonel Grenadier Guards, Lieutenant General Roly Walker, said during his address to us from across the pond. He said, discipline and excellence. By our presence and competence on parade and the skill and the mastery of our role as the light infantry, we master these. This ties into what we've been trying to implement since taking command in August, that we are and always will be twice the soldier. Today we celebrate our history, we celebrate our fellowship with all the Grenadiers from Canada and British, and most importantly, we celebrate our service to our country. Therefore, I ask that you all stand, no matter where you are in the world, and raise a glass as we toast to our lineage as the oldest regiment in Canada. Thank you, sir. I'd like to now introduce our youngest guardsman present, Guardsman McGregor, to lead us in a toast to the regiment. Ladies and gentlemen, the regiment. Thank you, Guardsman and Gregor. And now for the traditional cake cutting ceremony. Sir? As is tradition, we'll now use this time to highlight some of the outstanding work that our members and partners have done over the past year. Unfortunately, due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, we're unable to do so for 2020, so these recognitions will be done today as well. To begin, we are awarding, uh, we are awarding the Guardsman of the Year trophy. This trophy, created in 2014, is awarded to the Guardsman or Corporal who best exemplifies the principles of duty, dress, drill and deportment over the past 12 months. For 2020, the recipient is Corporal Rojas, and for 2021, the recipient is Corporal McGregor. I would like to ask the Honorary Colonel de Bitaillon to award the trophy. I basically provide the opportunity to demonstrate to uh, fellow regimental uh, officers and NCOs and soldiers, the trust that we have with our NCOs and our soldiers in all aspects of soldiering. And in this case, I'm delighted to present this award to, listen, there you go, Corporal Rojas, well done. And 
Cooper McGregor for 2021. Well done. The next award is the Corporal Chris Ambrose Memorial Trophy. This trophy is awarded to the Corporal who showcased the highest level of devotion and execution of their duties over the past 12 months. For 2020, the recipient is Corporal Bueno, and for 2021, the recipient is Corporal Gelino Lejeune. I would like to ask the Regimental Sergeant Major to award the trophy. Corporal Gelino, for your outstanding spirit and dedication to the unit, I'd like to present to you the Chris Ambrose Trophy. Thank you very much. Corporal Bueno is unable to be here today, and he was also a dedicated member in the year 2020, and we also recognize his great efforts. Thank you. The last award is the Leadership Trophy. This trophy is awarded to any member of the regiment, regimental family, ally, or friend of the regiment who made a tangible, unique, and positive contribution to the regiment above and beyond their normal duties over the past 12 months. For 2020, the recipient is Major Blenko. For those who don't know, uh, Major Blanco is really a, a grenadier at heart. He, I, I believe he still bleeds blue, red, blue. And uh, it is a great pleasure to present him the leadership trophy. A lot of the work and uh, behind the scenes that have been done uh, for the last few years regarding our new regimental uh, royal badges, he has been instrumental in making sure we, uh, we cross all our T's and dot all our I's. Chris, thank you very much for all the work you do for us. And uh, with that, I want to present you the Leadership Award for 2019. Pleasure, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. And for 2021, the recipients are a combined group consisting of Sergeant Canzo, Master Corporal Herchibes, Master Corporal Minchuna, and Master Corporal Drine. Master Corporal Herchibes will be accepting it on behalf, and I'd like to ask Lieutenant Colonel Commanding to award the trophy. Uh, this is unique, unique in the sense that normally the leadership trophy has been presented to one individual uh, over the last couple of years. The challenges that COVID and the pandemic have presented us this year have made a very simple choice. These four individuals have not only stepped up during their, their taskings as section commanders within the operational company, as instructors, on the IBMG courses, and even as candidates on the RSCC course. They de demonstrated leadership at its best. They're an example for every, all the other guardsmen to follow. That's why the four have been chosen for this year's Leadership Award. Congratulations, uh, Master Corporal. Sir. Thank you. Congratulations to all the recipients for a job well done and for exemplifying what it means to be a member of the Canadian Grenadier Guards. We would also like to take this time to promote three of our members to the rank of Sergeant following their recent completion of the Rifle Section Commander's course. The three members being promoted to the rank of Sergeant are Sergeant Galley, Sergeant Kazawi, and Sergeant Herchibis.
Well done to our new sergeants. Now, the Lieutenant Colonel Commanding would like to say some final words. Sir? As a final note, I would like to, uh, like all of you, to join me in thanking those who have worked extremely hard to pull this off. You know, I only take credit for coming up with the idea, but they quickly told me that uh, everything I wanted to accomplish uh, was not going to happen. But they ran off with my intent and delivered in remarkable fashion. Many of them have worked tirelessly after their shifts, while others putting in extra hours to pull this off. I would like to thank Captain Gordon, OC4 Company, Captain Anhorn, our regimental adjutant, Sergeant Washburn, our recruiting NCO, and Captain uh, Corporal Larayon, who has gone above and beyond. Thank you very much. In closing, I wish to thank all of those who took the time to spend and send us messages on this special day. The Regimental Lieutenant Colonel Grenadier Guards, Lieutenant Colonel Roly Walker, thank you for ex extending your well wishes from across the pond. This has never been done, and I hope, honestly, we don't have to do this again. The next time, as I said before, I hope to be in Mesquite with a glass of port in my hand as we cheer the regiment's birthday. Thank you. Thank you, sir. This concludes the Canadian Grenadier Guards 257th anniversary celebration. It has been our pleasure to host each and every one of you, and we look forward to seeing you all next year, hopefully in person, at the 258th anniversary. Thank you, and as always, up the guards. <laughs>